In Unit 3, we're going to look at what objectives the organization is going to set itself in terms of its digital marketing strategy. Remember in Unit 2, we looked at the long-term planning in terms of identifying the SWOT. Well, the objectives tell us what the company needs to do in order to achieve that long-term goals or long-term uh, ambition that it has. The objectives are normally set as in terms of SMART. SMART being specific. Specific that the organization needs to know exactly what it needs to do in order to achieve its long-term goal and long-term objectives. It has to be measurable so that we can understand whether those objectives have been successful or whether they are not successful. It has to be achievable. There is no point setting objectives which cannot be achieved. So therefore, this leads on to the point whether these objectives can be realistic. So the company needs to understand whether the objectives set are realistic in terms of its resources and its capabilities. And finally, in terms of SMART, it has to be timely. That the objectives can be achieved within a given time period. In terms of SMART objectives, we do use those within the business and we use those we use that particular model more regularly than a SWOT analysis. A SMART objectives are used um, alongside um, objective planning for the business but also on an individual employee level so that objectives for the quarter that we set everyone here within the business which come from the overall plan um, are, are SMART based so that they were able to be completely specific, uh, specific about the, uh, the, 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 the uh, objectives that we put in place and they're also measurable, they're attainable, they're relevant and they're time bound. So you follow those particular procedures and you will ensure that you have a, a robust business that's based on SMART objectives that, is, that are completely accountable. So in terms of SMART objectives um, being applied to Harriet Wright, our, our digital marketing executive, in, in addition to that, we also have SMART objectives that revolve around our marketing plan that we have with our PR and marketing agency. Um, we have a quarterly layout of activities and, and, and possibly for six months ahead as well. But we've, we do find that because the business is so young and we are so flexible, that there isn't any need to be producing a plan that is much longer than that. So therefore, we're really sticking to the objectives that we have in place for our digital marketing executive and the plan that we have with our PR and marketing agency. And that really is the area where our smart objectives lie. Um, right across the business. Uh, you know, one of the main benefits of digital marketing is that you can measure everything, almost everything. Uh, so, um, our smart objectives are connected with our KPIs. So, uh, sometimes uh, in this industry, you can connect your contract with a specific objective. So, you have to, to measure them.